Okay, guys. If you hear um some background noise, it's because I'm not at home. I came to stay with my grandmother um until until Monday. So um okay. <laughs> so then, yeah. Um, if you hear noise in the background, that's because I'm not at home. <clears throat> okay. So let's begin, guys, because I'm not sure if somebody else will be joining us. But if they do, they, they can join later on, right? So yesterday, you guys were doing expressing one quantity as a fraction of another quantity. And that's what I'm showing on the screen right now. And basically, what the question tells you is that if they ask you what is 4 out of 32, you are supposed to give me the fraction that that represents, right? So now... <clears throat> Yesterday, I know that Mrs. Katsim used a certain method to explain that to you guys. And um, I'm going to explain it to you guys in a different method to see which one it is that you understand better. But whenever they tell you 4 out of 32, yesterday when we were doing this, um, you had the word of. What does the word of represent? Multiplication. Multiplication. Very good. So I'm multiplying. When we get the word out of, it means the opposite of multiplication. Yes, Gerald. Um, uh, yep. He, he messaged Mrs. Katsim and then um, she messaged me already. Okay. So if we use the word of to represent multiplication, so we time, so when we say half of two, that means two half times two, right? So now when we use the word four out of 32, out of means the opposite of multiplication. So what is the opposite of multiplication? Division. Division. Very good, guys. Division. So this is going to mean division and now when i have to go and i have to write my fraction i am gonna write four out of 32 because that is what the sentence is representing all right okay now when you have four out of 32 this is now my fraction that represents the sentence but this is not my final answer why is this not your final answer who can tell me what do i i can reduce very good Gerald. and if i reduce four out of 32 by what can i reduce or by what can i cancel What number can divide 4 and can also divide 32? 2. Okay, very good. I can divide by 2. How many times does 2 go into 4? I can try by 4. Yes, please. Okay, let's try by 4. How many times does 4 go into 4? One. One, time. One time. And how many times does four go into 32? Eight. So what is the new fraction going to be? One over eight. One over eight. Very good. Anybody has any questions? No miss. No miss. Okay. Now, let's move on. In your package or in your um, worksheet um, that is in Google Classroom, this is some of the questions that are there. Now, these questions are not set up in the same way as the previous one. See, this one says 4 out of 32. This one says write 5 days as a fraction of 20. Are they talking about the same thing or do you have to do something different?
Somebody knows? Please repeat the question. The previous slide, the one that we just did, was 4 out of 32. And this is what we did. Now, this question says write 5 days as a fraction of 20 dates. Are they talking? Are they asking you to do the same thing? Or is there something different that you have to do? Different. different? No, it's the same thing. Is it the same thing? Yes, They're asking you to do the same thing. Matt is... is uh, Math is like a language. Like when you're doing English, there are so many things that you can say in English in different ways. If you're learning Spanish, the same way. I can say so many things in Spanish that I'm talking about the same thing. In math, it works the same way. In math, I can say the same exact problem in different ways. So now when we talked about the previous question that says 4 out of 32... When they say write five days as a fraction of 20 days, basically they're telling you write five days out of 20 days. That's what they're telling you to do in that case. All right? Now, if I do that, how do I write five days out of 20 days? Okay, 5 over 20, very good. And if I reduce that, what does that give you? 1 over um, 4. 1 over 4, very good. 1 over 4. Everybody understood how I got that? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, good. The second one. Let's see. Kevin, how do I write 9 centimeters out of 15? How do I write 9 centimeters out of 15? Kevin, are you there, Kevin? Do you need help? Okay, I see Krista has the, put the answer there. Writing 9 centimeters out of 15 centimeters, I am going to write 9 over 15. I'm going to put the first number over the second number. And if I reduce 9 out of 15, what do you get? What do you get when you reduce 9 out of 15? If you're canceling, you have to reduce. What number can go into 9 and can also go into 15? Three. Three, very good. How many times can three go into nine? Three. And how many times can three go into 15? Five. Five, very good, and you have your answer. Next one. Um, <clears throat> how do I write $6 as a fraction of $8? How do I write that one? Okay, very good. I'm going to write 6 out of 8. And if I reduce 6 out of 8, what do you get? 3 over 4. 3 over 4. Very good. 
And the last one. How do I write the last one? Six over twelve. Six over twelve, and I reduce that. What do you get? One over two. One, one over two is one over two. Very good. Very good. One over two. Anybody has any questions? No miss. No miss. Is it clear to everybody? Yes miss. Yes miss. Okay. Now. If you move, I change this slide. If we move to the other set of questions. Now, the other set of questions are basically, and I'm using the word basically because it's not 100% exactly the same. We have to be careful. Let's read the first one, and it says, write two days as a fraction of one week. What is different in these in this sentence than in the previous sentence? Let's um, let's do one week, one week, which is seven days. Okay, very good, very good. If we take a look at the let's look at the previous questions. This one had days and days, centimeters, centimeters, dollars, dollars, kilograms, kilograms. They were talking about the same thing. In this one, they're talking about different things, but that are related. Like, for example, days and weeks, minutes and hours, months and years, cents and dollars. So this one has, and I ask you guys to think a little bit more because I cannot put two over one because that won't be correct because that will be two days over one day. But that's not what the question is telling me. It is telling me two days over one week. So, how many days are in one week? Seven. So, seven. 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 very good. So, what would be my fraction? Two over seven. Two, Two over, over seven. seven. Very good. Now, can I reduce that? No, we cannot reduce it. So that question remains like that. Next one. Five minutes as a fraction of two hours. So how many minutes are in one hour? Sixty. Sixty. That is one hour. So how many are there going to be in two hours? 120. 120. Very good. So how am I going to write my fraction? 5 over 120. 5 over 120. Very good. So now, 5 over 120. If I reduce that, what do I get? 1 over 24. By what did you cancel? By five, very good. Five into five goes one time. And then five into 120, and you have to do division, or if you have a calculator, you can use a calculator. That gives you 24, right? Preguntas, preguntas, anybody has any questions? Questions, guys? No? Okay. Okay. Now, the next one. Two months out of one year. How am I going to write that? Two over 12. Why 12? I guess 12 months in one year. Very good. Two over 12. And if I reduce two over 12, And one over six. One over six. One over six. Very good, guys. One over six. Last one now. Fifty cents out of three dollars. Five over Very good, Gerald. Fifty over three hundred. Now. 
why do we put 50 over 300? We don't want to use decimals, right? We don't want to have a decimal and a fraction and oh, you have that all mixture up in there. When you talk about $1, we always want to think about one cent. So when you see 50 cents, okay, you think of 51 cents. And when you think about $3, I have 301 cents, right? Always when you have, when you're talking about money, so if you get another question maybe next week or um anywhere in any form that you go and they give you a question that's about money i always try to use cents that will make the and the question a little bit easier so the decimals are removed and i only have 50 out of 300 now when i have this i can go ahead and i can cancel a zero and i end up with five out of 30 and if i reduce that what would you get one over six. One over six. Very good. One over six. Questions? You get a different answer? Yes. <laughs> okay. So everybody's got this one clear, right? Can I move on? No, 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 no. Now, okay. none of these answers should have, like, the two seven shouldn't say days. It's only going to be the fraction because the question is just telling you write the fraction. Right? So it's just the fraction that they're asking you for. Okay, that's it. You can move on. Now, this is... This is the part that gives quite a lot of students some difficulty to some extent because it's like problem solving. When you have a word problem and you have to understand what it says for you to be able to solve it, right? Now this question says four pupils in a class of 32 got an A in their mathematics test. Now what is this question telling you? It is saying that out of the 32 students that this teacher has, oh, only only four of them pass with an A. And then what is on the chalkboard says four out of 32, right? So how am I going to be writing four out of 32? Four um, over 32. Four over 32, very good. And if I reduce, One over eight. One over what? One over eight. One over eight. Very good. And that is your answer. So, the first one. There are 30 students in a class. 20 students have brown hair. What fraction of the class have brown hair? Give your answer in the simplest form. So, this question, before I even look at Gerald's answer in the chat, <laughs> this question is saying there's a whole class. So, in this class, there are 30 students, right? Out of those 30, 20 of them have brown hair. And the question is telling you represent that 20 out of 30 as a fraction, All right? So we're gonna be doing the same thing. So I see that Daryl has the answer in the chat. And because it is 20, I'm gonna put it over 30. And that represents 20 students that have brown hair out of the entire class of 30. In the simplest form. So what do I have to do? One over three. One over three? Wait, oh, miss, I'm thinking. How do I reduce 20 out of 30? What would I get?
Anybody, what is 20 over 30 reduced? Two thirds means? Two thirds, very good. Two thirds. I can cancel by 10. There are two tens and 20 and there are three tens and 30, right? Or I could just cancel the zeros and I get two over three. Right? Yes? Clarify the question is clear? Okay, good. Next one. A bag contains red and white sweets. There are 12 red sweets and there are eight white sweets. What fraction of the sweets are white? Now we have to be careful for this one. <laughs> Let me see. They're saying that a bag has 12 red sweets Twelve and has eight white sweets. I'm gonna draw the white sweets in black, though. All right, that's my bag. And they want you to give the fraction of the white sweets. So, when I make my fraction, what number am I going to put at the top? Eight. Eight. Because this represents the white sweets. Right? What number am I going to put at the bottom? 20. I'm not going to put 12 because 12 20. is the red sweets. 20. The number that I have to put at the bottom is 20. Why 20 though? How many sweets do I have in my bag? But how do you know that it's 20? Because we added 12 with the 8, Miss. Very good, Kami. We added 12 with the 8. So now my fraction is 8 over 20. What is that reduce now? Oh, to me. By 2? Sure. Five one. Isari, what is the answer? I heard you say the, the answer. answer. I heard two fifth. Two fifth. Two over five. And that is the answer. Yes? You have to be careful, careful, careful with when we have word problems, right? Because you miss one thing and everything is going to be wrong. So, can I move on? Okay. Now this one. It says, John has 12 pieces of cards each with a letter written on it. And these are his 12 pieces. C-O-R-B-E-T-T-M-A-T-H-S. Those were his 12 cards. What fraction of the letters is the letter T? How many T's do you see there? Yes, Gerald. Yes, um, in the, in the, um, the word, we only, we don't, I don't see the end. It doesn't show the picture. I okay. I will have to let Miss Katsim know. She will need to add that part to it, but it should be there. I'm not sure why she. I I'll, I'll just remind her about it, right, so that she can edit the document. Okay, but this is this is the this is the cards that they're talking about because without the cards you won't be able to do the question right so we need the cards so i asked how many t's are there in the in the in the in the cards and i see that bajorn and loriani have the answer very good so i have 
three teas and over what I am going to put these three teas? 12, because I have 12 cards. And if I reduce this, what do you get? One over four. Over four. One over four. Very good. Next one. A's. How many A's do you see? One. One. So that is going to be one over? Twelve. One over twelve. Can I reduce that? It stays like that, right? Very good. Next one. Jean has 12 pieces of cards. This is his card. So let's see what fraction of the letters are vowels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What fraction of the letters are vowels? How many vowels do you see? Two. Two? Segura. Three. Three vowels. Three vowels. What are those vowels? The O, uh -huh. the O, the A, and the A. Very good. The O, the E, and the A. <laughs> you guys are like A, E, O, I, O, U, right? Okay. So what vowels, what fraction of the letters are vowels? So I am going to put three over what? Four. What does that give you? One four. One over one four. four. Very good. Now the last one. What fraction of the letters are not the letter T? So I want all the letters except the T's. How many are there? Nine. 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 Very good. And I'm going to put nine over. Well, yeah. what does that give you when you reduce it? Three over four. Three over four. Very good. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. And then we have, it says... Um, Jamina receives five dollars in pocket money. She spends one seventy-five on a magazine and eighty cents on a drink. What fraction of the pocket money has she spent? Oh, so many things are happening in this question, right? We have four minutes. I think we can finish this question in four minutes. Jamina receives five dollars in pocket money. So this is her total. Five dollars, that is her budget. And then she spends, so she has spent, she has spent 175 on a magazine and she has spent 80 cents on a drink. Now, what fraction of her pocket money has she spent? So what is happening in this question is that I need to write the spent how much did she spend over the total? Yes? Everybody understands that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How much did she spend, though? Mm -hmm. What is 175 plus 80 cents? $10 and 10,000. How much, how much, how much? $10 and wait, wait. It's one seventy five plus 80 cents. <laughs> how much does that give you guys? One seventy five plus 80 cents. Two, to how much? Two fifty five. Two fifty five. Very good. 
two fifty five. But now, my question is, how am I going to write two dollars and fifty five cents over five dollars? Remember that we want we want how much she spent over the total. How much did she spend? Two dollars and fifty five. No? Two dollars and fifty five cents. How much money did she have? Five dollars. $5. So I am going to write $2.55 over $5. But I don't want to use the decimal. So what do we do? Yes, I don't mind this statement, but can I be a whole number? I mean, can it be a mixed number? Can it be another number? A mixed number. A mixed number? No. Let's, let me see. Where did we... Let's find the question right here. What did we do here? By 255 over 500. Very good. Very good. That is what we have to do. I remember that I said, think about the one cents. Think about one cents. I don't want $2.55 and I don't want to write $5. So I'm going to write it as one cents. $2.55 represents 255 one cents. And then five dollars represents five hundred one cents. Right? Yes? Everybody got that? Yes, miss. Now my other question is how do I reduce that? By five, miss. By five. <laughs> Very good. By five. So, how many times does five go into 255? Twenty-five over five. How much? How much? How much? How much? I didn't hear you guys clearly. We want we want two five five divided by five. How many times does five go into two hundred and fifty five? Fifty one. Fifty one. Very good. I heard fifty one. How many times does Five go into five hundred. Five hundred divided by five. One hundred. One hundred. So this is your answer. Yes. Is it clear, guys? Yes, miss. Okay. And now, part B of the question. What fraction of the pocket money does Jemima have left? I'm sorry, somebody's calling me. Pascual, I'm, in a, I'm using my phone so I cannot answer. Um, so, let's review. The total she had five dollars. Then she spent two dollars and fifty five cents. All right, that is what we know so far. Now they're saying, How much does she have left? How much money does she have left? Very good. And how much does that give you? I don't know. 
2045. Very good, Jason. So, $2.45. Very good. Now, now, again, again, and again, the question. How do I write $2.45 over $5? And 245. 245 over 500. 245 over 500. Very good. You guys understood. Now, again, how do I reduce that? How do I reduce it? By what can I cancel? By five. By five. Okay. How many times does five go into two forty-five? What is two forty-five divided by five? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Very good. And what is five hundred divided by five? Hundred. One hundred. And this is your answer. Yes. Any questions, guys? Did everybody understand? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we are finished for today. Anybody has any questions before before we're done? No questions? Okay. I have two questions for you. And you're gonna use we're gonna answer it in the chat, right? So I am going to um I am going to ask the question, and when I count to three, everybody's going to send their answers, right? We're going to do the waterfall, and we're going to do them for two of the questions. Ready? Because we have four more minutes. Everybody ready? When you hear a question say, out of, what are what operation are they talking about? When you hear the word is out of. What are they talking about? Are they talking about who is? Wait for me to count. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> okay, everybody send your answers because ya ya no va funciona. Ay, yeah, you guys. It's division, division, division. Okay. So when you hear the word of what does of mean? What does of mean? <laughs> Multiply. Very good. So now, when you hear problem solving and you see out of, I know I need to divide. When you see of, I know I need to multiply. Right? Now, if there are no questions, guys, then I will be seeing you guys on Monday and Mrs. Katsim will be teaching you guys on Monday, right? Yes, you guys can do your homeworks now and send your homeworks. I don't want to see missing assignments because last week I checked, half of the class did not send homework. So I don't know what you guys are thinking. Starting off the cycle bad. Okay. You guys are free to leave. Enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend. Have fun. But do your homeworks, all right? Bye, Bye. Bye. Thank you very much.